Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Testing a thermocouple. So we have a multimeter and the crocodile clips are connected to the appropriate ends. So we have our black crocodile clip on this end and our red on that end. And we have our multimeter set to record millivolts. Thanks to Thomas Johann Seebeck in 1821 and his accidental discovery, I'm going to show you that this thermocouple is acceptable. So the dissimilar metals work in a way where once a flame is present on this end, the millivolts get sent back down the other end and hold the gas valve open. We want at least 15 millivolts, but check with the manufacturers to ensure that you have the right millivolts on your thermocouple. It acts as a fail safe. So once the flame is gone, it stops the gas valve letting the gas through. So it prevents a dangerous situation. So I've got my blowtorch here and you can see that within 30 seconds we have a good amount of millivolts. So this looks like a good thermocouple. Ensure that you've got your leads connected correctly because if they're not, when you check your multimeter, you will not get a good reading. So do ensure that they are connected well. There are other devices you can use to check thermocouples and we may look at that another time. Please leave comments in the section below. All right, thank you for joining me. Bye, bye, bye.